All right, let's start this again. For some reason, I'm getting not, I'm not getting enough signal or whatever to get the video to up, go live. So, anyways, I have a 2004 Dodge Ram 1500 quad cab. It went through inspection and had a few issues that I had to take care of. One of them being the e brake. It would the pedal would go all the way down to the, which this is your e brake pedal. It would go all the way to the floor and wouldn't hold anything. So. I started thinking like, okay, well, we're going to have to open up, find out what's going on. Now, this is the passenger side. I've already done the driver's side, but I got new rotors just because I was back here and these are looking pretty uh, worn. So I went ahead and got new rotors. The other side's already been replaced, as I said, but I took that off. And then inside this section, if you didn't know, there's brake shoes and that's for your emergency brake and it holds your vehicle so in order to get to that you have to go back here you have to take well you don't have to do it this way but i took off uh the caliper itself which is 10 millimeter bolts here oh, oops here and there's one down underneath take that off it'll leave your leave your bracket left and it's one here and one a little lower it's 21 millimeter if i didn't say it this bolt is a 10 millimeter Pull that off. I just put it on top of my spring here, but you can get a hook, hook it or whatever, like maybe hook it off to that or something like that. Then you will need to basically go from behind, hit your rotor off to get that off. And that's where you'll get to your brake shoes. Now, I, the only thing I did find out on here, which I'll go to in a second, so I took those off. I didn't see any real issue with anything, but I did find out that on these trucks, you have your emergency brake cable right there going into that. Well, I found out on the other side, that was basically locked up, which when those lock up, those can cause other situations. One, your emergency brake not working, but it also causes this that makes it even worse. Let me go to it. So from the pressure of hitting the brake, it basically just completely ripped that open where I had to replace the, the whole entire cable, which that is the shorter one, which is right in here. As you can see, there's the newer one. And then I replaced that one inside there, which runs back to back here. <clears throat> you can see there. And then that's what I was talking about that goes in. That pulls back and forth to engage your emergency brake. And I replaced that. Now they do suck getting out. Let me get out of here speaking of that so i figure since i'm in here i'll go ahead and replace both of them and let me see i may put them on the other side oh here we go so i got these i think i got them in advance for 45 bucks but this is what it looks like and it comes with a little boot but you got to put it in the right orientation when you put it in there and then your cable goes there on the outside. So all this is inside. So I don't know if that'll help y'all out, but I found out that those do seize quite a bit on these trucks and that could be your issue on why your emergency brake is not working. So I hope that helped out. Now I got to get busy doing this side. Y'all have an awesome day. Talk to y'all later.